Mitsubishi recently invited us to Finian Raceway, aka Sears Point, to participate in the Jim Russell Lancer Evolution driving experience. With Infinium one of our favorite racetracks, and the Lancer Evolution a silly, fast, hugely capable car, we smartly accepted their offer. After a quick chalk talk, wherein our instructors explained things like the proper racing line, contact patch management, and the psychology of driving on a racetrack, we headed to the cars. The school is divided into separate modules, some more exciting than others, but all education. Here's what we did, and what we learned. The Slalom Seems simple enough, but keeping your speed up while maintaining a tidy line actually takes some skill. Use the throttle to help the car turn, and aim for the open parts, not just the cones. Honestly, this is the most boring exercise of the day. We follow the lead car through a single left-hand turn. Not exactly thrilling, but it does drill home the value of a late apex. How you let off the brakes is as important as how you apply the brakes. This is our first chance to put the skills we've been working on to good use. The instructor radios directions to the students while driving the lead car. The system makes it easy for students to learn where to place the car on the track, when to brake, what gear to be in, and all sorts of other minor details that might not be so obvious to drivers on a racetrack for the first time. It's true, all-wheel drive really does help get the power to the ground. Also, huge, huge elevation changes can be used for traction or for losing traction. So far our day's been fun, but mostly focused on beginning to intermediate skills. Thankfully, the first activity after lunch involves dramatically sliding our Evos sideways around a skid pad. This is more like it. Called the Scandinavian flick, we practice preloading the car's suspension, then using that energy to fling it sideways. When done right, it looks pretty cool, and it's a skill that comes in handy during the next activity. Unlike a rear drive car, you can slide an all-wheel drive car with almost no counter steer. Also, the Evo 10 is exceptionally easy to drive sideways. Cone courses don't quite have the same allure as the big track, but they're arguably more fun. You can drive far more aggressively when the result of a mistake is a few crushed cones. During this part of the school, we're given free reign to drive as quickly and aggressively as we feel. And we do. As long as you don't go crazy with it, some of that flicking stuff we did up on the skid pad really helps you go faster on this cone course. All that practice on the cone course had a purpose. In this activity, each student has one chance to put down the fastest lap possible. Based on the practice session, I'm feeling pretty confident. My confidence implodes in spectacular fashion when I forget to take off the stability control, which I'd had off during the practice session. Oh god, trash control's on. In an attempt to turn it off in the middle of my lap, I wind up hitting a cone or two, incurring penalties, and completely blowing my lap time. <laughs> so we got this in stereo video. A lot of mistakes made. A lot of mistakes. Some dude who's never done this sort of driving before wins. It's humbling. If you're gonna show off what kind of sweet rally driver wannabe you are, be sure to turn off stability control before you start racing. The culmination of our day is the second faster session out on the big track. Applying all we've learned from the previous exercises, I feel really good out there. I also owe a fair bit of credit to the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, which is surprisingly easy to drive fast. At least it is if you leave the stability control on. One student somehow turned it off while changing modes for the transmission. His talent ran out somewhere near turn eight, and this was the result. Oh, they're in the grass. Okay, so let's make sure that we are all running with the systems on, on the track. Thankfully, besides a bruised ego and new trust issues for his passenger, no one was hurt. After clearing the racetrack, we finished up our session. It was lots of fun, but the specter of the crash kept us driving well within our limits. Cone course in a parking lot, stability control off. Big track at Infineon, stability control on. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10 is an amazing car. In fact, almost any moron can come out to Infineon Raceway and look amazing driving it. If you're a bad driver and want to be a good driver, get an Evo 10. If you're a good driver and want to be a great driver, talk to the people at Jim Russell Driving School.
not going well. <laughs> no, so not going well. Ah! And I killed it too. Uh, uh. Taking note, look at him diligently taking notes. <laughs> and that's how I lost it. Well, anybody's game.